Hey guys, welcome to Doing Things Dance Way. So this time what we have is we have my Highlander and we have my Hilo behind me. And uh, when I had this this Hilo with my Ford Explorer, I saw a fair amount of, of fish tailing if I got in the wrong conditions. And so the, the answer to that is to get a sway bar. And basically what this is, is a bar that attaches to the hitch, attaches to the frame of the trailer. And as the trailer and the, and the truck try and go back and forth, this thing is basically just a really big break to keep it, to, to make it hard to actually turn. So in the real world, when you're actually making a left or a right, this thing will just slide back and forth uh, in this break effectively. But in, when you're going down the freeway, what this does is just adds a little bit of tension to keep the vehicle from trying to fishtail. Today, we're gonna mount this up and uh, see how it works. Okay, so step one here will be to mount a ball that comes with the sway bar kit and obviously for this to work you have to have a hitch that is compatible with the extra ball so you want to have a hitch that has this extra piece on it or to weld that piece on yourself uh, to you know to be able to mount, mount the ball so that is just a standard uh, ball size and hole size so go ahead and just bolt that on tight that's your step one So as you can see here, I have jackknifed myself right to the point where this bar would basically be touching the trailer. So this is as, as absolutely tight as I would ever want to be without ultimately having the frame try and tear this ball off by continuing to jackknife. So for one, this kind of helps me understand, okay, what's my what's my maximum turn that I can get away with here, at least in this direction. I mean, I literally actually have another, uh, I mean, from elbow to elbow here, I've got a, almost a foot and a half of room. And because of the extension of the bar here, I can almost go 90 degrees with this setup. So what the instructions say to do is to go 24 inches from the ball to this ball, and that's the point that you mount. What I wanted to do here was to confirm that that would actually work with the setup uh, as it is, which is why I've kind of put myself in this really awkward position. So putting this here, and marking where the ball is. Okay, now I'm gonna measure. And that's exactly what they said, which is 24 inches. So the documentation was perfect in this case. So that should give me the maximum, like this is all the way in right now, which is where you'd want it to be. When this guy, when this guy touches. So if we turn all the way into a hairpin, it's gonna, it's gonna run into that and want to do something bad. So we'll never want to do that. And then if we come all the way to here, that would be bad too. So it's roughly the same angle, but you can see this will bend this bar and that would be, that would be bad. So one of the problems I have with this sway bar is that when you're raising and lowering the front, this guy always gets in the way up, up into the point of even having it take all of the force. If I drop the nose right now, it'll actually stand on top of that point. That's super annoying. It constantly, you're trying to raise and lower and this thing's getting in the way. So one quick trip is just to take it and pull it all the way up off the ground like that. Now I can raise and lower and not have any problems with it. Okay, so now I've got myself backed in on the, on the trailer. I'm just gonna take this, swing it around. Do yourself a favor and start off really loose. You can just drop this guy in place and uh, throw a pin in it. That's all there is to uh, mounting it up. Now what I do is I leave this nice and loose 
that, I mean, not ridiculously loose, I'll go ahead and tighten it a bit. Um, and for city traffic, you don't need this. This is really a freeway thing. So I like the idea of leaving it pretty loose, letting it basically break in as you're driving down the road, you know, in residential and getting out towards the freeway. And what we'll do here is when we get real close to the freeway, we'll stop and we're gonna tighten this down. And for me, I tighten it to three exposed threads visible. That's the, the tightness that I found that works well. And that's part of the process is you go to, you know, go to some tightness level. It's gonna sound horrific as you turn. It's just gonna be moaning and groaning because uh, this whole blade is sliding in and out. So until this breaks in a bit, this is kind of a loud setup. Uh, but what you'll see when you go down the freeway is when you, when you dodge uh, a little bit left, a little bit right at freeway speeds, you'll see in the rear view mirror and you'll feel the whole thing you know, kind of fishtailing a bit or kind of, you know, swinging you around. So when you go a couple turns tighter, you'll find at some point you can go over and the trailer pretty much just follows you nicely. When I got to that point, I found that on city streets, it was really noisy and really tight. So when I pull off the freeway, then I'll go ahead and loosen it back up again. So that's just, that's just how I do it. Okay, now that we are uh, close again on the freeway, I'm going to go ahead and crank this down. You can see here, Clockwise is more, so we're going to crank up until I have just three, uh, three exposed threads. With that, now this is clamped down nice and tight, and the whole thing can't uh, twist and turn on me. Okay guys, I hope that gives you some vision for how easy it is to install one of these sway control bars. Uh, a little bit on how to, to dial it in. Uh, just remember that the more you crank this down, the stiffer the trailer to vehicle uh, connection is and so you'll you'll get a sense of that as you as you install this and as you try tighter and tighter settings you'll feel it on the freeway as you move down uh, if you have a lot of swaying realize that there's no substitute for proper loading of your trailer so don't have a heavily you know an overweight trailer too much or too little weight on the tongue there's separate ways of, of, of adjusting how much weight you actually have here you want to make sure that's proper for the vehicle proper for the trailer. So start off with proper loading, but then after that, then, okay, then the sway control will keep you stiffer, especially for a little bit smaller SUV type vehicle as opposed to a full-size truck. I'm obviously convinced that this is a great way to go. These are not particularly expensive. I put a link in the description down below for the, the Amazon location where I got this particular one. These are not particularly expensive and they come with all the parts you need as long as you already have a hitch that has the extra spot on it for that extra ball. So I have a whole playlist of trailer related videos. You can click on over here, mash on my face right here and subscribe. And until next time guys, be blessed.